everybody, I'm Mahin and this is your Tuesday Technique for the Daily Belly Dance Quickies. Today we're going to put together two shapes and we're going to put them together in a smooth fashion. And I, this is something that I like to use especially for tuck themes, but it also can be used just in the slower, more lyrical piece of music and uh, maybe layered with other themes, layered with beautiful arms, layered with a shimmy. So we're going to go ahead and do just the basic, put together of these two shapes and then get creative with your arms, get creative with your upper body and with your shimmy layering and that's all part of it that you'll make it your own with. So the two shapes we're going to use are a circle and a horizontal figure eight going to the back. So let's just clarify what I mean by these two things. So starting in your basic dance posture, we're just going to use a flat exterior hip circle. So I'm going to start out to the side. I'm going to go around to the front, out to the other side, and then to the back, and then out back to the side I started on. So this can be kind of on the larger side for something like this, especially if you're using it for a top scene. Maybe you want to make it a little bigger and more expressive going to the other way, maybe taking a little bit of upper body lean with it, depending on what your music is telling you. So, as far as the figure eight goes, this is a figure eight that is a horizontal figure eight, meaning that it's all on this plane here. So, when I say figure eight to the back, what I mean is that when I take my hips and I take them on their first diagonal, I'm going to lead with my hip that goes to the back, and then I'm going to scoop around the curve to the front, and then come through the middle, and out to the other side. So this is what I'm saying when I say a horizontal figure eight to the back. Of course, you or your instructor may call it differently, but just to clarify, this is what I mean. Now we're going to put these two things together. Now you have to think about how these two shapes, if you overlay them, where they would line up. And on these two shapes, they are both on this horizontal plane here, and the place where they would come together would be on the sides, out here in the side of your circle. So that's what I'm going to do to put these two together. I'll do this facing you first, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn around in case that makes easier for you to understand. So, we're going to start out. I'm going to go out to my right. I'm going to go across the front of my circle, out to my left. I'm going to go to the back of my circle. When I get to the right, I'm going to go slightly past the point of the side. And now I'm going to take my left hip backwards and bring it around. And then I'm going to take the right hip backwards and then the left hip backwards. And now before I come back around to finish that eight any further, I'm going to go ahead and turn it into a circle and come across the front and come back to the left side. From here, I head back on the right I head back on the left, I head back on the right, and then I go across the front again. So I'll do this from the back. So here I am, and I'm going to take my hip out to the right, across the front, to the side, to the back, to the side, head back on the left, back on the right, back on the left, and now turn it back into a circle, taking it around, head back on the right, Head back on the left, head back on the right, and take it around the front. Now, I'm going to do this with music. I'm going to take it with a little bit of a timing change. So I'm going to take the first part of that figure eight slow, and the other two parts a little bit quicker. So let's go ahead and put some music on and try it. Okay, so we're going to start out. I'm going to start on my right. You can start out either side you want. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, back, back. That's where your slow and two quicks are. So you can use that for a tap scene. You can use it for a piece of melodic music like this. And like I said, have some fun with playing with some arms on top of this or maybe some upper body, just a little bit. And especially with layering the shimmy on top of it for a tap scene, which would be really beautiful. So have some fun making your own. Play with that. And I'll see you next week for some more technique. Have a good one.